Or three. Get him to go out with you. Bree? You, uh, <clears throat> you look different. Do you like my new look? You know, Bree, I've been thinking. I made a huge mistake breaking up with you. Um, how about, how about I take you on a date or, or something so that we can talk? Uh, I don't know. Come on! Have you ever made a mistake? Okay, fine. But you are paying for the date. Okay. Okay, girls, take these so you can listen to our conversation. Okay. It's time to get revenge on the school player. Thanks again for giving me a second chance. Of course, but, um, can I ask you something? Sure, anything. When you and I were dating, you know, before you broke up with me, <laughs> did you ever... Did you ever cheat? Um... Ready for the ghoul school? Yes, and I think my creature name is about to appear, but I already know it's gonna say vampire. Actually, darling... Dad, that's the bus. I gotta go. I don't want to be late. Welcome to class. Today we'll be learning about the rarest type of creature. Does anyone know what it is? Isn't the rarest one a mermaid? No, dear. It's a fairy. But aren't fairies extinct? No, legend says there's only two left in the whole world. That is why all creatures here must get a DNA check. What would happen if one of the students here was a fairy? They would be taken for experimentation, but we've never found a fairy before. <laughs> Next in line. Hmm, your facial structure is very unique. Okay, open for the DNA test. We need your DNA. Wait, I... I feel sick. You look fine. No, really, I feel like I could just ugh, throw up at any second. Okay, you can have a pass for today. But you'll have to get the DNA check tomorrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Dad, you've got some explaining to do. My creature name just appeared and it says fairy. Oh, darling, I knew this day would come. So I'm not a vampire like you? Well, no, you're not. I knew it! You told me my things weren't coming in because I was a late bloomer, but I knew there was another reason. So I guess this means you're not actually my dad. No, I adopted you. Well, apparently fairies are the most rarest creature. Please tell me you didn't take the DNA test. No, I didn't. I told them that I was feeling sick, but they said I have to take it tomorrow. This is very... <gasps> what? Darling, look! <gasps> what do I do? Well, a fairies can control their wings. Try to make them disappear. Are they gone? Oh, yes, they're gone. Darling, you must control your wings at school. But I don't know if I can. You have to, or they will take you away for experimentation. There you are. It's time for the DNA check. I'm still not feeling well. You have to take it. I should really be getting to class. You can't go to class until you take the test. Hold still. We're taking a hair sample instead. Ow. See, that wasn't so bad. We'll have your results shortly. Go to class. Hey, Luna. Oh, hey, Gulia. What's the matter? You seem really sad. I'm a little bit worried about something. Oh, well, you can trust me. What's bothering you? Well, attention, students. Will Luna Black please come to the front office? You guys wanted to see me? We got your DNA results. We need you to come with us. What? Take her away, boys. No. You really thought you could hide from us. Let me see your arm. This won't hurt a bit. Since you're one of the last fairies, we need to do research on your blood. Uh, don't be such a baby. Doctor, I think you may have taken too much blood. Let me see. She still has a pulse. She's fine. We need the pixie dust from her blood. Time to wake up. I feel really weak. That's because all your pixie dust is now in this necklace. You'll be dead soon. What? Yes, I'm afraid we've drained all your power. And fairies can't survive without their pixie dust. I'm sorry, dear, I can't hear you. <laughs> Dad? Luna, I had a feeling they would take you. It will be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You are the reason there's no more fairies left in this school. Wait! Oh! Quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna, quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna? No. Please, work. Darling, are you alright? Yes, thank you. Of course, darling. I will always protect you. I'm sorry I'm not your real dad. 
Even though we might not be related by blood, you're always gonna be my dad. Oh, darling, thank you. I love you so much, Luna. I love you too. Well, I think it's time we leave this place. I know somewhere safe we can hide away and live. Red alert! What do we do? Well, we both have wings. Oh, yeah. Let's fly. Come on, let's go. Prince Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage <laughs> to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's Day? <laughs> <gasps> Princess Elizabeth! Date. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, Princess. I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Ugh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. This is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you. You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart, and if it breaks... Something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her. Run. But what about... Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, Mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, Your Highness. You can play all the games you want, Princess. I will marry you and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not gonna find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, Princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but you'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No! It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name, William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? I promised to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother, Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth. You're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, Princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil! William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, Mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no! me. Her heart! Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding! That prince is evil! William? He escaped? And he's lying! 
No, it's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me. No! Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, oh, not yours. William, his last heart, it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you, you die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that it wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The gods found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. share. <gasps> William! Elizabeth! What would you like to tell your soulmate? Tell him I said good morning. Message from soulmate. <sighs> Finally. Oh, that's nice. Wait, what? He must be messing with me. Want to reply? Yeah, tell him that's not funny. Message from soulmate. He's gotta be joking. Want to reply? Yes, tell him to stop because he's scaring me. Darling, there's a package here for you. Oh, I don't remember ordering anything, but okay. What the heck is this? Message from soulmate. What would you like to say to your soulmate? Message from soulmate. Would you like to respond? Message from soulmate. Want to reply? Message from soulmate. Message from soulmate. Want to reply? Message from soulmate. Message from soulmate. Want to reply? Message from Soulmate. Message from Soulmate.
whether I'm going to have a baby brother or a baby sister? Pick sister. But I want a baby brother. Are you the one delivering the baby? No. Then pick sister. Fine. She's here. Hi. <laughs> Shh, no, don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> Give her to me. You're holding her wrong. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Your little sister needs toys. You're way too old for that anyways. Ready? Catch. Ow! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you in the eye. <laughs> My baby, what did you do to her? It was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? Go to your room. Your sister needs a blood transfusion. What? Yes, it's a really long story, but I told them you would donate your blood. Come on, we gotta go to the hospital now. Wait! You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Come, I'll show you. Hi, I'm Rachel, and that's Tim. But if you like, you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm pregnant! I'm gonna have a baby sister? I mean, she won't be your real sister, but yeah. Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. No, you're too old for them now. Don't be selfish. Hand them over. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch her! <coughs> Mom, the baby's crying. I think she's in the shower. <coughs> it's okay, it's okay. Peekaboo! <laughs> uh, uh. Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mom! <gasps> oh my gosh! I was just- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was crying and you were in the shower, so I just picked her up and she fell asleep. I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her to me! How dare you disobey me! I was just singing her a song. Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. <laughs> Did you steal that from our baby? No, I'm sorry. I just, I was feeling sad and I usually have these stuffed animals when I'm sad. I told you to give that to the baby. You don't need that anymore. Let me see it. No, my real parents gave this to me. Oh, I see how it is. We don't allow rudeness in this house. No. I think we should give her back to the adoption center. No, please. I'll do anything. Uh, I mean, we do need someone to help around the house with this new baby. Will you help us clean? If if I do that, then can I stay? Huh. Okay. As long as you're obedient and you clean well, you can stay. Did you finish the laundry? Yes. Good, because there's crumbs all over the floor. Get to it. What? Is there any way that I can have some dinner? She needs to be fed first. Listen, we both have to leave and we need you to watch the baby. You're gonna let me watch her? Yes, because we have to, but if anything happens to her, I'm bringing you back to that adoption center. Understand? We'll be home by 10. Her bottles are in the fridge. Hey, it's okay. Where are they? Hi, it's me again. I'm just wondering where you guys are at, because it's already midnight. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Officer, are they- Well, kid, and it uh, looks like your mother is in critical condition, and your father, he, he didn't make it, kid. I'm sorry. Your mom wants to see you. I'll hold her for you, honey. I'll watch over her, too. Be careful with her. We will, kid. Mom, I- <sighs> Come here. I'm so sorry that my real daughter is going to be stuck with you. Ow. I should have never adopted you. Doctor. We lost her. I believe these belong to you. I'm so sorry, kid. Thank you. You and your sister are adorable. You didn't deserve to be treated like that, you know? My wife and I are actually looking to adopt. Really? Yeah. We've always wanted daughters. I can talk to my wife. Would you like that? Ah, uh, kid, come here. Okay, pick a babysitter. A Navy SEAL or a ninja? What kind of options are those? I need someone who can protect you while I'm away. From what? An army? You know, ever since Dad died, you've been acting really weird. Sissy, pick the SEAL. You do realize it's not the animal SEAL? You know what? Never mind. Thanks for coming. These are my kids Sarah, Sadie, and the baby Susie. Nice to meet you. Miss Lane, I can assure you, your kids are in great hands. I want dinner. Shut up! She's asleep. 
I don't care. I'm hungry. Don't make me push you into the wall. Hey, don't talk to your sister like that. And you kid need to learn some manners. Her learn manners, please. You also do realize you're not the first babysitter we had. Is that so? Yeah, you're like the fifth one. All the other ones quit. Uh-huh. They don't like us. Said we're not disciplined enough. Well, I can assure you I'm not going to quit. It's my duty to protect you. <laughs> well, speaking of duty, <laughs> I'll let you handle that. Uh, wait. Just, um, FYI, you're putting on her diaper backwards. It's supposed to go this. Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. We should kiss and see what happens. Uh, wait. What's wrong? I don't know. All of a sudden, I just started to not feel good. I know why. Mom? Mm-hmm. How long have you been listening in? Long enough to know your powers have come in. You knew? Why didn't you ever tell me? Because your powers mean you and your soulmate can never be together. You're lying. I am telling the truth. If you kiss him, you will die. No, we're supposed to be together. See? Fire and ice don't mix. Get rid of him. Oh, no! <laughs> Wait! Let's go, princess. Stop fighting me. There. Those gloves will not be coming off. Princess? Go away. No, please wait. I want to help you. I know how to get those special gloves off. Let me see your hands. Aspen, I escaped. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. <laughs> Three, come here. Why is everyone staring at us? Mm, no one's staring at me, Derek. They're staring at you. What are you talking about? Oh, how cute. He still doesn't know. Don't know what? Exactly. Got your little confession on the video. Derek, remember how you used to tease me for being a klutz? Well, clumsy old me. I was recording you. I didn't realize. And then I accidentally leaked the video to the entire school. You what? Yeah. Maybe next time you'll think twice before playing every girl in school. I'm a go-getter. If I see what I like, I'm gonna go after it. <laughs> Sorry, Derek, but I had to. I don't want any girl to go through what I went through. Because no one deserves to get their emotions played with. Have a nice day. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some celebrating to do. <laughs> Anything I touch turns to money, or any doll I touch comes to life. I'm too little to have money, and I don't have any friends in foster care, so I pick this one. I pick this Barbie to come to life. Whoa. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. Are you gonna be my friend? Of course, I can be anything you want me to be. You can brush my hair and take me anywhere. Cool. You can also customize me using this remote. I want to give you brown eyes like me. Oh, Claire, who are you talking to? Uh-oh, who's that? That's another foster girl that lives here and she's really mean to dolls. We have to hide you, come on. Claire, who are you talking to? Nobody. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. What the? Barbie, I told you to hide. Sorry, Claire. I just love making new friends. Does this control her? Hey, give that back. Uh, just let me see it. Stop, you're gonna break her. Ugh, you're so annoying. This is why no one wants to adopt you. I don't want your dumb remote anyways. You killed her. <laughs> Have fun with your dead Barbie. Barbie, please wake up. Hola! Soy Barbie. ¿Cómo estás? Uh oh, I think she reset you onto Spanish mode. Now don't you worry about my boyfriend, the boy whose name is Vitorino. I don't want him, couldn't stand him. He was no good, so I. <laughs> now, come on, what was I supposed to do? He was out of town, and his two friends were so fine. Happy birthday! Look what came in the mail! An egg? It's your very own magical creature! Wait, really? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now! Don't give me that attitude! You have to be patient! It will hatch on your 17th birthday! <clears throat> It hasn't hatched. No, not yet. I'm gonna take it to class with me. Please be careful. Don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. 
<laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. <laughs> That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm gonna need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered. I need to go back home. No, you need to come with- Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh no, you and your creature are in danger. What? Open up. I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. But what are you gonna do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now and don't come out no matter what. I know you're here. Surprise! Found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. <laughs> Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Oh. Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. <laughs> what is it doing? <gasps> Whoa, it... It healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just, I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? Shh, shh. I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. Mom, did you really steal me from dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not. And for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> you just... <sighs> Hello? Oh, please, wake up. <gasps> what happened? I saved your life. Mom? What did you do to her? You pew. You used your laser vision on her? Yes, I'll protect you. Thank you. Molly! Is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be. Before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home. <laughs> Mom, what's this location thingy? Honey, that means you're the special one of the family. Huh? One family member from each household is given the gift of knowing people's locations. Sweet. Cool, sis. Makes up for the fact that you've got no other talent. <laughs> your brother isn't answering his phone. Where's my brother? He's at Jessica's, and I think we probably know what they're both doing. <gasps> oh, he is so grounded! Dad, you're back from your trip early! Uh, yeah, I am. Secret handshake? What? <laughs> Our secret handshake, we always do it when you get back from your trips. Oh, of course! Uh, honey, I'm so sorry, I'm just so tired. I'm gonna go lay down. He would never forget our secret handshake. I might be crazy to ask this, but where's my dad? Hmm... <gasps> <sighs> It's him. Hey, you in there? Hi, honey. Oh, hey, Dad. Mm. Is your phone ringing? No. Oh, really? Because I'm pretty sure I hear mm. that. Who's calling you? No one. It was just uh, a video that I was watching. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go now. Hello? Penny, hey, listen to me very carefully. Dad? Yes, that man in the house is not me. Get your mom and your brother and get out. Wait, what? There's a lot more to explain, but... Hello? <laughs> Come on, come on, pick up. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. What? Where is my dad? Dinner's ready. Okay, just a minute. Hey sis, thanks a lot for snitching on me. Come here. Get off of me, what's up? Shh, something very bad has happened and I need your help. Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. 
All right, let's see. Not him, but definitely not him. What? Next. But I. And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> you have offended all the princes. Wow, that was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry. I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must! I will not lose you like I lost your father! You must find a husband, do you understand? Oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun! Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you alright? My corset, it's... it's too tight. My corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on, I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. <laughs> I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who- Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I- Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent, we shall be married tomorrow and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, your highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding! That man is a fraud! Nathaniel... Someone get this fool out of here! The only fool here is you! Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be! In fact, he's not a prince at all! It's true! You were just using her to become royalty! No! I am a man of honor! No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the Queen! Oh. Aubrey, I'm so sorry! You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey, will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. It's my birthday. The itsy bitsy spider. Stop! Where did you learn to sing? I don't know. I just saw it on the TV. Honey, you must remember, singing is deadly. The TV is trying to trick you. You must never sing again. Okay, I won't. Going to class? Yeah.
And you think you can go without wearing earplugs? Come on. Do I have to wear them? Yes. You never know when someone could start singing. These are lifesavers. Hey, take those out of your ears. Yeah, take them out. My mom says I'm not supposed to take these off. Can I just try them on? Yeah, for a second. Thank you. Yeah, these are trash. Hey! Oh, relax. You'll be fine without them. Bria, I need to see you after class, please. Miss Claremont, if this is about my grade, I... No, dear, this isn't about your grade. What are you doing? Mary had a little lamb... Miss Claremont, lamb. please stop singing. Little lamb, little, little lamb, lamb, Mary... What is a puppy doing in your room? Um... I gave it to her, Your Majesty. I, uh, I bought it as a birthday gift for her. Is that so? Yes, I hope you don't mind. Well, I don't allow pets in my palace. Let me see her. No, wait. Um, if you let me keep the puppy, I promise I won't ever ask to go outside again. Hmm. Do you really promise? I promise. All right, then. You can keep the little beast. <coughs> oh, you must be hungry. Don't worry. I'm going to draw you some food. I'm glad you liked your food. I also drew you a little toy. Hey, congrats on keeping the puppy. Thanks for covering for me. Of course. As your royal guard, it's my job to protect you, even if it's from your own stepmother. So where did the puppy come oh, from? Oh, that's, um, that's kind of a secret. Uh-huh. Well, I'll leave you alone. Wait, if you could just let me out of here for just a few minutes... Princess, you know I can't do that. If the queen caught you outside, she'd... I would be really quick. No, I'm sorry. I have orders. I, I can't. You have to stay in here. This isn't fair. You know what? I bet if I use this magic pen to draw myself outside, I could escape Stepmother forever. I knew it. Give me that pen. Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. We have to cover this up right now. But why? Because it, um, it makes you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm going to school. Not so fast. Let's see your face. Seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And whose fault is that? Dad, you know today is my birthday, and my friend bought me this cupcake. You have to cover up that mark with concealer. Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work, so you're gonna stay home. Happy birthday to me. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. Girl, you're late. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, your mark. I know, it's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's the mark of the lost princess. You're the lost princess! What? <laughs> yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I am not! I'm being serious! Save it! My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger! Let go of me! I'm going home! You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Ridiculous, I know. I hope you learned your... This is the royal gods. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But... Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. Nobody move or I kill her. We need to cover up your mark. Nobody follows us, understand? Yes, sir, we understand. Perfect. No one can tell you're the princess now. <sighs> Time to go. You can reverse your powers. All you have to do is say it. Ow! No whispering. We're leaving. You royal guards will never find us again. Reverse my powers.
Oh, Blair, what are you doing? Royals' powers can heal, but they can also kill. <gasps> and this is why you don't mess with the Royals. Help the princess. Yes, Mom. Feeling better, princess? Yes, thank you. Good, because there are some people who would like to see you. Hey, they have the same mark as... me. I can't believe it. It's you. It is my pleasure to inform you that my daughter, your princess, has returned. Me and my sisters being chaotic for one minute straight. Hello. I know, I went too early and I kept looking at your face like, when You're do like I what do I do? do, what do I do? Okay. What? What? Bruh. We pretended to hug the dad <laughs> in the scene, but it was so awkward. <laughs> oh my gosh, she almost fell. Bella kept laughing. <laughs> we took this scene about five times. <laughs> She just said that what? randomly. This is Agnes. Oh no. What? <laughs> focus. Focus. Focus! Please don't let them take me. Um, why don't I- We couldn't <laughs> keep it together. <laughs> oh, oh, what to say? <laughs> So, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Aw, oh, babe. I love you even more. And what can I get you to? I'll take the steak and fries and she's gonna get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize. Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm gonna find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? I'm really not supposed to do this, but here. Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out. Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm gonna go get my manager. No, please don't. You'll get... I'm coming in. Whoa, hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt just in case you need it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. Baby, come on, I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're going to return it. What does it even say on here? No! Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? All out of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, you know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight. What the hell are you doing? You didn't actually eat the dinner, did you? Well, aren't you quite the little actress, pretending to be asleep like that? Now, what were you doing with my... Amber Alert, missing girl from 2018, shit. So why didn't you call the police right away? I was too scared to call the police at the time, but after they left, I did, and that's when they told me her description matched Claire Montgomery, who's the girl who went missing in 2018. After all I've done for you, and you go and lie to me, I need to ask you a question, and I don't want to set you free, so... How did you... Haven't you figured it out by now? I found a way to steal your words, and I can control how many you get. 
I mean, I gotta admit, it's pretty adorable watching you anxiously wait every year, hoping you'll get more words. But how many do you always end up getting? Three. And what do I ask you to tell me every year? I love you. I love you. Those were the only words I wanted to hear from you for so long. But you were never into me. Because you were a stalker. I admired you, Claire. I... I care about you a lot. Then let me go. You know I can't do that. I have to protect you. You're insane. And you're using up all your words. Here, take some more. You are a sick son of a... On second thought, maybe it's best if you remain silent. This is why I can never give you any more words. I'll come back down here once you... Looks like we got company. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. That may be the case, but we're gonna take a look around, and if we don't find anything, then you'll be good to go. So far, I don't see anybody here, sir. Keep looking. Want to get your words back? 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 4, 4, 3, 3 2, 2, 1. 1. Words retrieved. Since we can't find anyone, we're gonna... No, no help, I'm down here. Wait, where's that coming from? He has a basement, I'm... I'm in the basement. Show us where she is right now. Whoa, okay, okay. Hey, are you Claire Montgomery? Yes, yes, that's me. Oh my god, okay, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. How did you get your words back? Boys, get him out of here. Don't even look at him, it's alright. Claire, tell him you love me. Tell him that I was good to you. Tell him or else I'll- Stop it. Somebody get him in the car. Want to take Derek's words? Babe, please. Get in the car, Miss the Paca. Babe, you have to listen to him. Don't call me babe. In fact, you're not going to be able to call me anything now. You're finally going to get to feel how I felt for these past three years. Being silenced isn't very fun, is it, Derek? Looks like Mr. Parker got what he deserved. Stay here. Um, Julian, wait. I'll be right back. Great. Now I can't even move from this spot. Julian? What are you doing? Move out of the way! Oh my gosh, thank you. So, you're the girl that's cursed to do whatever she's told. How do you know about that? Uh, you haven't seen the tweet? Jillian knew about my curse? Yeah, she tweeted it to the whole school. Now everyone's gonna try and take advantage of me. It's gonna be okay. Our curses only last for 24 hours. Tomorrow you'll get a new one. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, give me your lunch money. I know you can't resist. <laughs> give that back! Stand back and don't talk to me anymore. Slap yourself. Ah! Now, punch yourself. <laughs> Jillian, what is your problem? You should know. Don't listen to Jillian. Thanks. This whole curse thing just isn't... Want to give Jillian your curse permanently? What? Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the... I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's gonna regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's gonna meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... It's you. Son, get over here right now. We were just talking, Jack. That's Mr. Frost to you. And I know flirting when I see it. Ow, Dad, let go. No son of mine is going to date a Kringle. Stop it. That isn't fair. Get out of here, kid, before I turn you into an ice sculpture. It's okay, Holly. Just go. You're never going to see her again. Mom, Dad, there you guys are. Why are you looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You are on the naughty list. Listen, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who my soulmate is. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. <gasps> what? No, it can't be. But wait, listen, he's actually really nice, and he needs my help. Ho <laughs> ho, nice? Don't you remember what his father did to you last year? No, but Jared is different. Honey, his family cannot be trusted, and you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. I have to help Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Psst. Hey, I can help you. <laughs> Excuse me? I saw this flower, and I thought of your face. 
Do you think I have Riz? Honestly, you need to work on it. Why did I just get money? Because, sweetheart, every time someone has a crush on you, you get money. We're gonna be which? Wanna go prom dress shopping? I can't. I'm broke. You have no new crushes? No. Oh my gosh, what did I tell you? You're so pretty, but you don't talk to anyone. That is not true. I talk to Tommy. Tommy is a little creep who likes to stalk you. He doesn't count. You need to talk to other boys. Look, it's not my fault that I have social anxiety. Girl, just let me teach you how to flirt. I can flirt, okay? Here comes a guy. Hi, um, I like your face. Huh? You know that I have a girlfriend, right? Right. <laughs> and you lost more money, didn't you? Yeah. You're coming with me. Fine. This is perfect for prom. I'm telling you I'll buy it for you. And I'm telling you I can't. It's way too short. My parents would kill me. What's going on? What's up with your crushes? I don't know. It just... Hey. What the freak, Tommy? What are you doing in the girls' dressing room? Listen, I posted something that's gonna make you rich. Tommy, what did you post? It's nothing bad. It's just... You tell me what you posted, right? Oh my gosh, you need to see this. Don't get mad. Rating my characters in a wish for me to pass my test? What? No. Leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch, or...? You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me? No, I mean, I wanted to... Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. Can you please wish for- Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mm. I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes. Get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited- Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish- uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. <laughs> not gonna happen. Oh yes it is. I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh okay, come here. No way! I just got a billion dollars in my account! Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice! Now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. Alright, you can have a little break. Come on. <sighs> you know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Melanie! Grayson? What are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson. Just repeat after me. I wish- I wish- For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey! 
Why? I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. Oh! That's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real mother. No. I'm so sorry. I had to put you up for adoption so I could run this game. But now it's over. You hurt so many people. I never meant for this game to get so brutal. I started out by doing this as a science experiment. But it made me lose sight of the things that really matter. Even as mother, I was watching over you. I wanted you to win that 50 million. But don't worry. Because I'm going to make a new game. What? Yes, and I was thinking, instead of Mother May I, we could all play Red Light, Green Light. And since you're my daughter, you'll have to play. Hey, sweetie, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <gasps> Who is she? You know, I was about to ask you the same thing, but you look really familiar. Are you a model or something? Uh, actually, yes. Figures. I'm sorry, babe, this girl was just leaving. But you said, no, stay. I think you're going to want to see this. I actually got him a little something. Here you go, sweetheart. Thanks. Oh, wait, but first, before you open that, I believe this is mine, right? Uh-huh. That's your Gucci bag. That's the one you wanted, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and open yours. All right. What's this? Receipts of things that I bought this week. Baby, 10k worth of stuff? Oh, baby, you and I both know that you can afford it. Oh, and there's a card in there, too. Go ahead and read that. Roses are red, violets are blue, you're a dirty, rotten cheater, I'm breaking up with you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Girl, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Wait! Ladies, I'll buy you anything! No amount of money is worth being with him. Goodbye. Okay, here goes nothing. That didn't taste like anything. Smell! Well, that's not so bad. Hey, what sense did you lose? I lost smell. How about you? I lost judgment. Oh. What's so funny? Nothing, it's just you can't lose something that you never had. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, since you lost your smell, I guess you won't mind washing my gym clothes. <laughs> no way, I'm not washing your- Hey, mom and dad are gone, which means I'm in charge. <sighs> Fine, but can you at least start dinner? Because I'm starving. Yeah, I'm about to jump on the game just a second. Um, but we're only going to be on there for like, like an hour, right? It'll be fine. Why is the smoke alarm going off? Oh my god! Alex! Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. Uh, no. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- <phone rings> Laura, hey. Mom! You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, mm -hmm. honey? Sweetheart? Sorry, Laura, she's- Oh! Ugh! Oh, oh, you broke my hand, you little- oh, oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find- What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White. Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey. Be Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Claire, we... I understand if you don't want to because I know I'm not that great. What? Why would you think that? Because I'm not as smart or as cute as the other kids. I think that's why nobody wants to adopt me. Oh, Claire. 
Don't think like that. You're so smart. And you're super cute. Do you really think so? Claire, you can do anything you put your mind to, and anyone who tells you otherwise doesn't know what they're talking about. We would be honored to be your parents because you're such a good girl. Right, Ken? That's right, Barbie. Really? Yeah, being a dad sounds fun. Guys, I forgot I had this in my pocket. My puppy. Since we're a family now, do we want to have a pet? Absolutely. Aww. This is going to be so much fun. I'll start looking for Barbie houses for us to live in. I'm so happy for us. We're going to be a great family. Yeah, Barbie and Ken finally together at last. Ugh. Ow, my head. Barbie? Ken, what's wrong? Excuse me, ma'am. Have you seen this person? No, I haven't. I'm sorry. All right. Thanks, anyways. Alana found out that I'm a princess, and I'm pretty sure that that she's going to tell the whole school. Not on my watch, she's not. Come on, we're telling my dad. Oh my gosh, dad! Relax. He's fine. Now, which one of you is the princess? It's me. I am. Um, just, just promise me that, that you'll leave her alone, and I'll go with you, okay? Sounds like a deal to me. No, Briella, please don't do this. It's okay. I'll be okay. Come on. Let's go. Stay here. I need to make a call. Hey! Get back here. I'm so happy you're okay. Thank you, Katie. I was so lucky to find a police officer nearby. But Mr. Stevens, I don't understand. How did that bad guy know where I was? Alana sent out a tweet exposing your location. I can't believe she would do that. Don't worry, everything's been taken care of. You're safe to go home now. Wait, really? But what about prom? I don't think you can go. Dad, can't she stay for just a few more hours? All right, fine, but you can't stay out too long. <sighs> Thank you so much, Mr. Stevens. I promise we won't be long. Come on, Katie. So, have you kissed your soulmate? No, I... I haven't. I think my soulmate's the prince. I'll be kissing him soon. Good for you. So, what's your curse? I'm actually not really allowed to say. Literally, just say it. My gosh. I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? You're joking. <laughs> hmm. Pat your shoulder. <gasps> Mother, she wasn't kidding. Pull your hair. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys, this curse is not a joke. You can't just stop talking. From now on, you're going to do exactly as we say. Pour me some more tea. Give me a back massage. Buy us some milk and hurry. I'm back. The milk is in the fridge. What's up with you? Nothing. Alina, tell us why you're happy. Go on, speak. When I was at the market, I saw the prince, and I'm pretty sure he's my soulmate, and he can break my curse. What? Let's see what sense you lose, honey. Touch? Oh, wow. Does that mean that I can't feel pain? Yep, it sure does. Oh, this is going to be the best day ever. And then after that, I got so embarrassed that I... Whoops. You jerk, you hit her right in the head. Hey, it's okay. I, I can't feel pain. Oh. Really? Well, in that case, will you go to the blood drive with me? I'm really scared to go alone. Um, okay. Okay, let me see your arm. Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Um, honey, wake up. You're all done. I got a little bit distracted, but you should be fine. Mom, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Oh, dear. Okay, honey, I'm taking you to get checked out. Any discomfort here? And how many fingers now? Three. I got your lab results, and I don't know how you didn't feel this. I can't believe you didn't feel this. Feel what? You said you've been feeling kind of lightheaded, correct? Yeah, just like kind of dizzy. That's because you have lost a significant amount of blood. Did you go to a blood drive or anything recently? 
Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. That lady, she did this to me. What lady, honey? The one from the blood drive. I have to go find her. Oh, no, you don't. You are in no condition to leave. But, honey, listen to the doctor. How are you not feeling pain? You almost died. Your heart could have stopped. Oh, my. You might want to close your eyes for this part. Is that a bite mark? That nurse at the blood drive, she must have been a... Mom, where are we going? Mommy, Sissy's talking to you. Sissy needs to rest, honey. Just ignore her and watch her show. <gasps> Coco Melon. Hello? We're here. Okay, there's your daughter. Go ahead and carry her inside. Karen, she's 17. I'll just wake her up. Come on, Samantha. Hey, wake up. Let's go inside. What the hell is wrong with her? Look, she wasn't gonna come, so I... Karen, are you kidding? Mommy, who's that? He's no one, honey. Just watch your show. Actually, sweetheart, I'm your father, and you guys are coming with me. No, Daniel, we agreed. You take Samantha, and I keep Susie. Besides, you left us because you didn't want kids anymore. Well, now I'm changing my mind after seeing what you do to Samantha. No. Yes, I want my daughters back. You can have one. How about none? Because I called the police. You what? Patty cake, patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Girls, I just wanted to say thank you for giving me a second chance. Yeah, you know, ever since mom has been out of the picture, I've actually really appreciated the fact that I chose to have a baby sister. I love you, sissy. I love you too. Aw, uh, group hug. Which one should I pick? Pick the blue one. It's a really cool power. Okay. Good thing she can't read. Yeah, let's test her power. This is going in the trash. You're never gonna see it again. No, give it back. Nope, it's gone. <laughs> Look at this cash, it's working. Honey, I found more cash. She must have cried herself to sleep. She can never know about her power. I'm setting it to private, so only we can see it. Can you guys please just tell me what my power is? I'm 17. I think I'm old enough to know. We told you to stop asking about that. Go to your room. You're being annoying. Why are they always so mean to me? She's crying again. We're officially millionaires. Hey, what's up here? Why was this money stashed away and where did it come from? They tell me every day that we are dirt poor. Would you like to know your power? have to get a 100% nice score? Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad is super strict. We have to be together. We're soulmates. Plus, I'm more nice than I am naughty. I think my dad's just afraid that you're gonna turn into a supervillain just like your dad, Jack Frost. I won't. And I'm gonna get a 100% score just for you. Well, if it isn't Santa's little daughter... Um, who are you? The Tooth Fairy's daughter. And I'm gonna be the one to marry Jared, not you. What? <laughs> Nighty night. <laughs> Holly, wake up. Is this dental floss? Yep, and it's really strong, so you won't be getting free. Now to turn into you. Huh? Just watch me work my magic. Ta-da! Why are you doing this? I had a crush on Jared first, so I'm gonna make him misbehave so you two can never be together. He's gonna know it's not me. We'll see about that. I'll be back to check on you later. No, his score is going down. What is she having him do? Yes. I think he might still be alive. Maybe Uncle Ricky lied to us. I mean, the hospital receptionist said that the man she left with looked just like you. Wait. The code, 040288. That's Dad's birthday. Yeah, so if... Uncle Ricky hated Dad so much, why did he make the code his birthday? I don't know, but one thing's for sure, we have to find out where Mom went. Because if that man wasn't Dad... Ready to...
Yes, I... Aspen, where is your glove? This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play... Oh, no. Are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to... Yes, and the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know a way you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait, she made this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid, Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm going to get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. Alright, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you off to boarding school. <laughs> Here, oh. Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her, but what better time to do that than her wedding day? Ugh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's gonna be okay. 
Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me? Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, would it happen to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now why don't you just fetch? No! Oh, thank goodness it's not broken. No. <sighs> she locked me in here? Oh no, it looks like they're already reading their vows. I have to pick this lock. I saw this used in a movie once, so uh, let's hope it works. Does anyone have any objections to this marriage? I do. No! Anne, what? Ingrid told me you were sick. Yeah, well that's not the only thing she's lied to you about. She's also not even pregnant. What? Darling, don't listen to her. She obviously doesn't want us to get married. Really? Then what do you call this little recording of yourself? If you do anything to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. Why would you talk to Anne like that? Darling, I can explain. I... Oops, looks like Ingrid's out of talking time. Good, because I don't want to be interrupted when I say this. Ingrid, you and I are over. Oh! I'm so sorry, Anne. I had no idea Ingrid did all those things to you. It's okay. No, this is my fault. I should have listened more to you. I promise you, from here on out, things will be different. More behind the scenes of my chaotic filming. <gasps> Please, you have to tell me to kiss you. It's still bad. It's because the line is so cringy, I can't say it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Rapunzel, daughter of... What? <laughs> I said the wrong thing. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock! It was at this moment that he knew. We're told we have to do what we're told, but surely. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. Really, babe? The mafia? You know, you're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know a play we could. A play? <laughs> I know a play? <laughs> Alright, bet. But <laughs> I'm so sorry. I bet. But wait, what is my line? I bet. But we gotta be careful who we can trust. <laughs> Do it again. Wait, do it again. Do it again. Okay. <laughs> no. What's wrong, Holly? My soulmate Jared. He's eighty percent nice and twenty percent naughty. But that still means he's gonna be on the naughty list. He is the son of Jack Frost. But Winky, he saved my life last year. He's been nice. Plus, I think he's going to propose to me soon. Holly, your father wants to talk to you. Yes, Dad? Is it true that Jared is thinking of proposing? Well, he's sort of been hinting at it. He needs to be 100% nice before Christmas. But, Dad, Christmas is only a few days away. If he is not off the naughty list, then you can't be together. I used my ice powers to make that for you. I hope you like it. I love it, Jared. Thank you. Hey, watch this. No, Jared... <laughs> you can't be using your ice powers like that. Why not? It's funny. Because you're still 20% naughty. And my dad said, if you don't get on the nice list by Christmas, we can't be together anymore. What? I have to get a 100% nice score? Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad is super strict. We have to be together. We're soulmates. Plus, I'm more nice than I am naughty. I think my dad's just afraid that you're going to turn into a supervillain just like your dad, Jack Frost. I won't, and I'm going to get a 100% score, just for you. Well, if it isn't Santa's little daughter... Um, who are you? The Tooth Fairy's daughter, and I'm going to be the one to marry Jared, not you. What? Nighty night. <laughs> Holly, wake up. Is this dental floss? Yep, and it's really strong, so you won't be getting free. Now to turn into you. Huh? Just watch me work my magic. Ta-da. Why are you doing this? I had a crush on Jared first, so I'm gonna make him misbehave so you two can never be together. He's gonna know it's not me. We'll see about that. I'll be back to check on you later. No, his score is going down. What is she having him do? No, his score went down again. It's getting really cold in here. He has to notice that it's not me. 
Jared, look! Here comes another person! Make them slip and fall with your ice powers. No, this just feels mean now. Oh, please, Jared. We were just messing around. You sure your dad doesn't mind if I act naughty? Yes, I told you. He doesn't care anymore. <laughs> now, Jared, what do you say you and I be really naughty, and we can go to your place, and you can unwrap me like a little Christmas present? Nah, you're not Holly. What? Of course I am. My soulmate would never say- Is that a purple streak in your hair? No. Hey, are those wings? <sighs> Dang it, the magic is wearing off. Where is she? I'm not telling. Ow! You know, you're gonna make your nice score go down. It's going down a lot more if you okay, don't- Okay, wait, I'll show you where she is. Just follow me. Holly! Holly, come on, wake up! I don't like this, come on! Oh no, I think the blizzard killed her. I think the blizzard killed her. No, how long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't gonna be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute, aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. There, that should have helped her. Ugh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat... it's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. Holly? Jared! Do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really love him, don't you? With all my heart. Jared? Holly. You okay? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry her. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Ah, uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... <coughs> no way! Looks like baby Crystal has taken up after me. Hey, new girl, aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa, I'm just saying it's kind of weird that you have a doll. Hey, let me touch it. Back off. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her alone. That doll is the last thing her parents gave her before they passed away. Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man, it even looks like her, too. That's some Annabelle shit right there. 20 bucks says you won't try and steal it from her. All right, bet, you're on. Ayo! Hey, give it back! <laughs> Aw, what you gonna do? This. <laughs> Detention! Over a doll? On your first day. I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but- But nothing! You're too old for that thing now. I'm throwing it away. No! Let go! <sighs> it's for your own good. No, he ripped it! Secret file X? What is this? Secret file X? What is this? I should be able to play this on my laptop using this. Hi honey, it's your mom here. And your dad. If you're seeing this, that means you must have kept the doll we gave you. If so, we're so proud of you because that means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time to explain, but- It's coming. Listen, your Uncle Scott cannot be trusted and that doll isn't a toy, it's a key to a safe. Don't- Uncle, get the- No! Come on. The doll's hand is the key to the safe. The safe is in the basement. My doll's hand unlocks a secret safe in our basement? And my Uncle Scott can't be trusted. I have to find out what's in there. Hey, kiddo, just check. What's in your hands? What's in your hands? I was writing you an apology card. Uh-huh. Let me see it. It's not finished yet. Does it look like I give a damn? Let me see it. I can't because it's a surprise. Expecting company? No, are you? No. Stay here. I have to get to the basement. Okay, I'm in the basement, but where's the safe? That's it. 
The video said the doll's hand is the key to unlocking the safe. Scan hand here. Opened. It worked. Whatever's inside must be very... Valuable. I've been trying to get that safe open for years. You knew about the safe? Yeah, kid. I know about a lot of things. And one of them is that you lied to me. I'm... I'm sorry. Oh no, you're not sorry. But you're gonna be. You don't even know what your parents did for a living. Yes, I do. My mom and dad were both lawyers. <laughs> lawyers. They were spies. Spies? My parents couldn't be spies. They're not cool enough. Oh, kid. You're so innocent. Your parents were actually smarter than I thought. I'll get that doll. But right now, I'm gonna get that treasure that's in this safe. Access denied. Looks like only you can get it. There's a crown in there. Now get it. Access granted. Yes, that crown is worth millions. Okay, hand it over. Wait, I want to know what really happened to my parents. Nah, kid, I don't think you really want to know the answer to that. <laughs> Veronica, open the door. Veronica, open the door. Veronica, open the door. No, not until you tell me what really happened to my parents. How did they even get this crown? I told you, your parents were spies and they acquired many riches on their missions. That crown was a gift from a princess they saved. Your parents were rich and I needed money, but they would never give it to me. So I decided to take something that they wanted and to never give it to them. Me. And you want to know what I did to your parents? Freeze! FBI! Whoa, hey, what's going on? Are you injured? No, but I don't understand. How did you guys know to come? Well, we've been investigating your uncle for quite some time now. Recently, we gathered enough evidence to make the arrest. I told you I'm okay. I don't need an ambulance. Honey, the ambulance isn't for you. What? While we were searching your house, we found a shed in your backyard. Did you know about the shed? Uncle Scott said it was infested with bugs. Actually, we believe we found your parents. They're in critical condition, but they're alive, honey. Grandma, what is that above my head? Those are all your childhood memories, dear, and it looks like you've already made quite a lot of them. Well, that's good, because I want to remember all the fun things I did with you. Oh, Annalise, you are so sweet. <laughs> there is a fire in the castle. We need to get you both out now. Grandma, I'm scared. I don't want to lose you like I lost my parents. Don't worry, dear. We'll be alright. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsing! No! You left your clothes on the floor. Sorry, I just... They pay me to foster you, not to be your maid. Didn't anyone ever teach you to clean up after yourself? Well, you know, even if someone did, I really wouldn't have remembered because I lost all my childhood memories. Yeah, yeah, enough with your sob story. Just clean up. Excuse me, sir, do you know why there's a bunch of flowers everywhere? Oh, yeah, those are for the princess. Everyone leaves those for her. Today marks the fifth year of her passing. It's awful what happened to her. Hey, are you okay? Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not, I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it, you stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. Hello, Danielle. I hope you slept well.
These are for you. I want you to know you're safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you. I've been watching you. You're a stalker, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. More like I'm your biggest fan. You see, I've been following you on social media for quite some time now. And when all of us were forced to join this dating app, I made it my goal to become your perfect match. And thanks to this dating system, I'm now your boyfriend. Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. I need to switch my boyfriend. You have already picked a boyfriend, you may not change it. No, please, it is an emergency. Question, is your life currently at risk? Yes! That's all my money in my bank account. Five seconds to decide. Okay, deal. Contacting authorities now. Cheers to us, Danielle. I'm so glad you decided to wear the dress. Where are they? Where's who? You sure you're all right, miss? Danielle! Sir, stop resisting. I love you, Danielle. I'm gonna find you again. I promise. Are you ready to meet your new boyfriend? Thank you in advance. I don't wanna dance. I don't need your hands all over me. If I want a man, then I'ma get a man. But it's never my priority. I was on the phone before you came along. Don't want you to say just personal. Blah, blah, blah. I be like, nah, to the ah, to the no, no, no. All my ladies listen. How do you know the prince is your soulmate? Tell us. We know you can't resist. Someone told me to go find my soulmate, and after they said that, I went straight to the prince and held his hand. And what exactly did he say to you? He told me he wanted to see me again, but then his guards came and they didn't let me talk to him anymore. Of course they wouldn't let you talk to him. You're a peasant and he's a prince. Mother, you told me the prince was my soulmate. He's supposed to kiss me and break my curse, not hers. Remember, she has to do everything she's told. So we'll just tell her. You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. No. Alina, get the door. Alina. Your Highness. I just had to see you again. I had my guards find out where you live. Listen, I need your help with my curse. My stepmother, she's controlling- Your me. Highness. Hi. Ignore her. She's our maid. I think my future is secured as a princess. Wait, what? Hey, Sophia, do you think you could help me clean my room? I know what you're trying to do. What? You're trying to make me your maid. How did you- Did your future change? Yeah, it did. Haven't you two seen the movie Cinderella? Do you really want to be known as the evil step-siblings? We're not evil. We're just trying to make our new stepsister useful. I'm telling our parents. If you try and tell them, I'll make our dad call off the wedding. Our parents are in love. It'll crush them. We know. So we suggest you keep your mouth shut. All you gotta do is agree to do whatever we say, and... We won't stand in the way of our parents' wedding. Come on, you don't want to be the reason they break up. You guys promise you won't sabotage their marriage? Pinky swear. So, do we have a deal or not? Fine. Yay, now hand me the puppy. <laughs> now get to cleaning. You can start with my room first. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. Me either. Nice try, you're not going to fool me again. We're being for real, we feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> Help. Princess. Shut up! So, what did your future say? It said that I'm gonna become a princess. Well, hun, it's true. What? You know how I've been dating this guy? Yeah. He asked me to marry him last night. Well, mom, I'm really happy for you, but what does that have to do with me being a princess? <laughs> well, it turns out that he's, um, a king. So once I marry him, you and I will be... Royalty. I'm gonna be a princess. Come on, you have to meet his kids. I'd like you to meet my son and daughter, Luke and Lacey. Hello. Hi. Are you seriously not even gonna curtsy? Oh, was I supposed to? Um, duh. Hey, honey, next time curtsy, okay? Otherwise, it's very disrespectful. My kids can be a bit harsh on new guests, but they will warm up to you. We are not letting her become our new stepsister. Definitely not. I think it's time for a little sabotage. They're gonna try and change my future been locked in your room for a while. I just wanted to check on you. <gasps> your hand is freezing. Really? I didn't even notice. Mm-hmm. Well, has anything strange happened to you today? No. But actually, Mom, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna... Yes, by all means, get your rest. Keep a close eye on her, please. Yes, Your Majesty. 
Mom? Princess. <gasps> Shh, hey, it's okay. You know me. I'm the guy from the ball. How did you get onto my balcony? This is gonna sound crazy, but I used my fire powers to fly up here, and I think you and I are... Soulmates. I know. I read the Soulmate Handbook, and this F apparently stands for fire, which are your powers, but the only problem is, I think I have ice powers. Whoa, you're kidding. Well, you know what they say. Opposites, Opposites attract. I say we kiss and see what happens. Wait. You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? No, not really. Hey, it's me. The candy worked. She's half out of it now. Excellent. Alright, time to come inside. Come on. Finally, I can take this from her. So what do we do with her now? Well, she's already got Mr. Knight all the publicity he needs, so she's no longer of use to me. Susan? What's going on? Oh, Madeline, isn't it obvious? I'm getting you away from Mr. Knight. He's mine. Mr. Knight is gonna find me. He's not gonna look for you, because Susan's been telling him that you're fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, but I need to be the focus of Mr. Knight's life, not you. <sighs> Medieval Times Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom! Oh, honey, smile! Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. <gasps> Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please, just unblock him and message him, okay? Alright. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now, because I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. My soulmate can control my hands or my hair. I think I'm gonna go with hands. Oh, no you don't. That's very inappropriate. Pick hair. But- This isn't up for debate. Eat the other one. Fine. I swear, Mom, my soulmate better not give me a weird hairstyle. Bye, Mom. I'm going to school now. Um, honey? What? Oh, why won't these come out? You may not remove hairstyle. No, I can't go to class like this. The preschool's that way. Shut up. I didn't pick this hair. My soulmate did. If he gives me one more bad hairstyle, I'm done. Sup, Wednesday. What? Have you not looked in a mirror? <laughs> that's not Wednesday, that's Thursday. Wow, so clever. Are you okay? I'm so mad at my soulmate. He gave me this dumb hairstyle and I can't take it off and people are calling me really mean names. What? I think you look cute. Well, thanks, but no one else does. <laughs> what do you want your hair to be? I don't know, like curly hair, I guess. Huh, well, I hope it happens for you. Wait, what? Honey, plug yourself in. I will, okay, relax. Where even is my charger? Eh, I'll find it later. Mom, I'm at 1% and I can't find my charger anywhere. Haley, I told you! I don't feel so good. No, hang on! That was the third time this has happened this month. I know, I'm sorry. Thanks for saving me. 
Honey, I've been working on a new invention. I want to show it to you. A bracelet. It's a portable charger that allows you to never run out of battery. It's finally ready for use. Really? Yep, I made it just for you. But Haley, don't tell anyone what it does, okay? Nice bracelet. Thanks. Do I know you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Henry Powers. How did you do that? Huh, I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm gonna need you to come with me. I'm not coming with you anywhere. Oh, yes you are. What? How are you? How did you take my power? Ugh, I need that bracelet. Mom, we have a problem. What, honey? Well, there was like this crazy guy at school, and he had electric powers or something, and he was sucking the battery life from me. What? He did? Yeah, but don't worry, your bracelet protected me. That must have been a power sucker. A what? There are people who recharge themselves by taking other people's battery life. Do you know where he went? No, I ran away, and then he... What was that? I think he might have followed you. Go, hide. No, I'm not gonna leave you by yourself. You can't hide from me. Leave us alone. Hand over the bracelet. Not a chance. Okay, then. Guess I'll drain her battery. Mom! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna drain all her battery life. No, okay, you can have it. Don't. If he gets that, he'll be unstoppable. She's at 2%. It's her or the bracelet. I choose her. Take it. Finally. Now let her go. All right, a deal's a deal. Uh, Mom? Mom, give me your hand. Not so fast. I'm not done with you, kid. I decided I want more power. What? Leave her alone. I'm taking her battery life. This is for being a little brat. Stop! Mom, go plug yourself in. Otherwise, your battery's gonna die too. Say goodbye to your daughter. No! Uh, uh. Haley, grab the bracelet. No! Why, you little... Uh. Give me that back! No! My power! Oh, you did it. Mom, you're at 1%. Here, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm so proud of you, honey. Come here. More bloopers. I couldn't stop laughing at this outfit. You know, I would have texted you back, except for the fact that, um, my phone turned into the the I don't say blah blah blah. Well, I would have called you back, but my phone magically turned into the... <laughs> Try that again. Two hours later. Well, I would have called you back, but my ma... Oh my gosh. You know what? Joke... Wow, try again. <laughs> My lights just turned off. That scared me. Hey, take a hit, take a hit. <laughs> Thank goodness, because I'm so done dressing. In time for a funny throwback. This is my sister Clarice, and she is having a great old time, aren't you, Clarice? I am your mother. I am your mother. I am your mother. You listen to me. Only talking in viral TikTok sounds was really annoying. Let's hope this new curse isn't as bad. Must do everything you're... Oh, come on. I can't believe how bad your report card was. I told you I was sorry. You're still grounded for two weeks. What? Come on. How is that even fair? That's enough. Not another word from you, young lady. Mm. Stop fooling mm. around and go to school. Why haven't you been talking at all? You've been super quiet. Mm. What? <laughs> huh? Can you just say something? Thank you so much. You are a literal lifesaver. That's such a cute squishmallow. You should just give it to me. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't mean to give you that. Uh, just let me keep it. Okay, you can keep it. Thank you, girly. I always wanted this one. Wait here. Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't move. Oh my gosh, the reception here is literal trash. We're in the mountains, what do you expect? Besides, I want us to enjoy nature. Your Instagram and TikTok can wait. Well, now you sound like mom. <laughs> Shut up and help me come on back. That's not funny, Nikki. What are you talking about? Would you stop playing dumb? This isn't funny. You put fake blood all over the bathroom. I... I didn't do that. Stop it, you're creeping me out, I'm being serious. I am being serious, I didn't do it. So that was real blood? What the 
hell was that? I don't know, okay, but I think that we need to- Shit, I thought I heard somebody. Who are you? How did you even- Shh, keep your voices down. There's a bunch of them out there right now. A bunch of what? Hmm, pick a soulmate from my galaxy or Earth. I've always wanted to meet a human, so I guess I will go with Earth. Activating soulmate string. It will move when your soulmate is close. Hi, princess. Whoa. How do you get your soulmate string to move? Mine has been not moving. Where'd you pick your soulmate to be from? Oh, well, I picked a human from Earth. Your soulmate string won't work. What? It only works if your soulmate is on the same planet as you. How could you pick a human? I am sorry, mother. I let my curiosity of humans get the best of me. You will be single for the rest of your life now. My soulmate string cannot be moving. That would mean that my soulmate is intruder alert close by. Hi, uh, I believe this string led me to you. He's not my boyfriend. He's not, is he? I knew it. Okay, listen, I'm going to get help for you, but I'm gonna need you to give me some more information. He's coming. Okay, got the concealer. Time to go. Sir, wait. Why is the makeup lady chasing after us? Sir! Let's get out of here. Well, that was weird. Did she at least cover up your bruise? Good. Good. Go change your hair to a different style. I'm gonna go make dinner. You look much better now, babe. Breaking news as of today. What's going on? Let me turn this up. No, don't! Did you just... How the hell did you get words? So now you want to be quiet, huh? Answer me! How did you get them? You don't have any left now, do you? Give me that remote. You better hope this news isn't about you. So this girl comes into my makeup store with a bruise. I gave her some words and it turns out the man she was with... <laughs> you ratted me out? After everything that I've done for you. I have been so good to you. Now that's gonna change. Police, open the door. They finally found me. But they won't find you. What is she? <gasps> oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! How did she do she that? She has powers, oh my god. Mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry, we're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa. Oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright. She wants us to move. How is she doing that? Wow! I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Seeing my avatar. Me getting excited, they gave me a sword. Does that even look like me? Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm hmm Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. 
Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%? That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow, I'm gonna be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. Air? Wait, does this mean I'm not getting superpowers? Hi, honey. Oh, hi. So, did you get your power? Uh... Oh, I bet you got invisibility like me. No, I bet she got my super strength. Right, sweetheart? Guys, I actually need to get to class, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Class, line up in the gym for your power assessment. <sighs> I'm so done for. Okay, state your name and your power. Sarah Steelman and my power... Hold on. You're Steelman's kid? Yeah. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am a big fan of your parents. Bet you got an awesome power. Actually, my power hasn't exactly come in yet. <laughs> You're 18. That's impossible. I know, but it says air. That, my dear, is not normal. I'm going to send you to the nurse to have you looked at. Everything looks fine. Maybe you're just a late bloomer. Wait, it's loading again. An infinity symbol? What does that I've mean? I've never seen a symbol like that. Hey, kid. Hey, coach. Did you get that power yet? Yeah, I, I did. Ah, I knew you'd get it. What is it? Well, that's the thing. I don't exactly know what my power means yet, and uh, neither did the nurse. Aw, oh, kid, I hate to do this to you, but until you figure out what your power is, I'm putting you with the sidekicks. Sidekicks? No, no, my parents won't. Hey, sorry, Steelman, it's not my rule. Hey, sidekick, nice drink. Mind if I have some? Mm. Hey, Gabby, knock it off. No powers outside of class. Aw, is someone upset because I don't have a power? I do, too, have a power. I just don't know what it means yet. Right, you just keep telling yourself that. <sighs> I really need to find out what this symbol means. Why couldn't I have just gotten super strength or something? Hey, give me your money. Hey, I said give me your money. Hand over the money. Why don't you come take it from me? Aw, that's cute. You really think you can- Aw, oh, I think it broke my jaw. How did I just do that? This is so weird. Wait, do I get any power I want just by saying it out loud? Okay, let's test this theory. X-ray vision. <laughs> Hi, honey. We got you a gift for your 18th birthday. You guys got me a Gucci bag? Yeah. How'd you know that, sweetheart? It's in a package. Well, there's something I need to tell you. So your symbol means you have infinite powers? Yes. Coach, watch this. Think of a color. Mind reading. <laughs> You're thinking of blue. Yeah, that's amazing. Can you think of any power and then you get it? Well, I have to actually say it out loud, but yeah. Well, Stillman, I'm impressed. I'm putting you with the heroes. Yes, thank you. It's my pleasure, Steelman, but be careful. With a power like that, people are going to be very jealous. Are you sure? Yes, she's the one. We are so proud of you for getting put in the hero class. You guys have to go, huh? Yeah, sorry, sweetheart. There's a robbery three blocks down. Wait, can I come? No, honey. You can't legally fight crime until you graduate. That's right. Oh, come on. I can help you guys. I know, just not yet. Sup, Steelman. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Telekinesis. <laughs> oh, you little. <laughs> That's it. Come here. Freeze breath. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You're OP, Steelman. This isn't fair. Class, open your books to page 104. We'll be learning how to outsmart a villain. Hey, mind if I share the book with you? Yeah, sure. Thanks, I'm new, so... Wait a minute, aren't you Steelman's kid? Uh, yeah. For real? Damn, your parents are so cool. So I've been told. <laughs> hey, would you, uh, want to maybe hang out sometime? You are not going on that date. Dad, honey, let her live a little. He could be a supervillain for all we know. He's not a supervillain, he's in my class. What's his name? Cal. And his last name? I didn't ask his last name. Dad, come on, you're gonna make me late. Babe. Fine, but I want you back by eight. Okay, I will. Thanks. I am not going to be late to this date. Super speed. <laughs> hey. Hey, trying out that super speed, I see. <laughs> so you're invincible, huh? Not exactly. Each power I say only lasts for 20 minutes, then I go back to normal. What would happen if you couldn't talk? What do you mean? Like if someone covered your mouth or uh, you lost your voice. Well, then I guess I'd be stuck as normal, but why do you ask that? Oh, no, I was just wondering. Anyways, uh, you know, prom's coming up. Would you maybe want to go together? Oh, I don't think my parents would. Let you? Come on, Sarah, you're 18. Hey, maybe if I introduce myself to them, they'll be okay with it. 
So, Cal, tell me, what's your power? Oh, Mr. Steelman, my power is kind of lame. Oh, come on, what is it? I can glow in the dark. Wow. So you're a sidekick, huh? Dad, <laughs> it's okay. Yes, sir, I am. Actually, I like that power. It's very safe. I won't have to worry about you, Cal. <laughs> I think my parents kind of warmed up to you. Yeah, that was a relief. So, I'll pick you up at 8 for prom then? Okay, yeah. You look beautiful, sweetheart. Gorgeous. Oh, thanks, guys. But we want you to take this. Here. A uh, bracelet? Emergency locator. If anything goes wrong, you press that and we'll be there. <sighs> thanks. Ready to go? Yeah, I think... Wait, I forgot my purse. Hold on, let me go super speed up there and then I'll go... No! Don't use your powers right now, okay? Excuse me? Why don't you want me using my powers? I just thought that we could be normal for a little bit, but I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. Go ahead and get your purse. It's okay. I, I don't even need my purse, actually. Let's just go. I'm gonna go get us some punch. Oh, okay. Sarah, have you seen the teachers? No, why? They're supposed to be here, but I can't find any of them. They're probably just running late. Sarah, come here. I want to show you something. Wait, where are we going? I want to take you somewhere private. Oh. Wait, did you hear that? No, what? Never mind. Come on, I know a nice spot for us. Are you cold? Maybe just a little bit. Aw, here, take my jacket. Oh, actually, no need. Flame hands. <laughs> Sarah, baby, remember I told you not to use your powers? Sorry, I just thought that- Shh. Do you remember what I told you my power was? Yeah, you said you had the power to glow in the dark? <laughs> I lied. You lied to me about your power? Of course. Did you really think I was a sidekick? Well, yeah. Wow, you are so gullible. That's it. I'm getting my parents. <laughs> are you looking for this? <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hey, babe. Babe, you two are dating? Gabby, do it now. With pleasure. Mm. I can't hold her like that for mm. long. Where's your friend, Gabby? She's supposed to be here. Mm. <sighs> Relax, I'm here. Cal, what is going on? Do it! Super! That's your voice. Don't try to talk, Sarah. Just look at me. Nighty night, Sarah. <laughs> oh, good. You're awake. Don't be scared, Sarah. It's just a mask. It's me, Cal. Now it's time for me to get revenge on your parents. Give her her voice back. She's waiting. First, you're going to eliminate her parents, then all the teachers. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. You're back early. Where's Cal? Oh, he's right there. Hey, Mr. Steelman. Cal, what's going on? I'm getting my revenge. Don't you recognize this mask? It was my father's before you killed him. Now, Sarah, tell him what you're going to do. I'm going to eliminate both of you. Honey, he must have mind-controlled her. Telekinesis. <laughs> Sarah, put that down. <laughs> Sarah, stop it. She only listens to me now. Oh, Mom, where'd you go? Sarah, listen to me. You are stronger than this. Teleportation. <laughs> Wait! Mom, where are you? I thought I heard you over here. Flame hand. <laughs> There's no sense in hiding. Found you. <laughs> Just show yourself and this all can stop. Listen to me. You know me. It's me. Mom? I knew you'd remember. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Stop! That's enough. <laughs> Are you guys sure I didn't hurt you? Yes, honey, we were more worried about you. I'm fine, but the teachers. Cal captured all of them. We have to save them. Do you know where they are? I think so. Come on. Thank you so much for saving us. Are you sure everyone's okay? We're alright, but the kids that did this to us are still out there. Wait, guys, Cal, we shouldn't have just left him knocked out. You're right, you shouldn't have. Don't look at his eyes. Sarah, I know you want to look at me. Look at me now. You want to listen to me. No! Say laser vision. Laser vision. Now take them out. Sarah, don't. Honey, you know us. We're your parents. You would never do this. Do it now, Sarah. No, I am done listening to you. Freeze breath. Not so tough when you're frozen solid, now are you? Cal, Gabby, and their voice-stealing friend have all been locked up. Glad to hear that. Honey, I'm so proud of you. Well, you shouldn't be, because I'm a literal idiot. What? Sarah, why would you say that? 
I had a bad feeling about Cal since the beginning, but I just ignored it because I wanted a guy to like me. But of course, he was just using me the whole time. Oh, sweetheart, you're young. You're gonna make mistakes. But you're right. You should have been more careful. But what's important is that you fixed your mistake, which shows us that you're on your way to becoming a real hero. So we got you something. Surprise! My own super suit? Yep, for after you graduate. Aw, thanks, guys. Now we just gotta think of a name for you. Hmm, how about Infinity Girl? Oh, I like that! But remember, Sarah, with great power comes great responsibility. Dad, you stole that from Spider-Man. I know, but it's such a good quote. <laughs> This isn't over, Sarah. Mom! What? Where is my super suit? What? Where is my super suit? Oh, I, uh, put it away. Where? Why do you need to know? I need it. People are literally in danger right now. Your college application is in danger. It's due tomorrow and you haven't even started. Mom, I already told you I don't want to go to Super 10 University. Now if you'll excuse me. Sarah? Super speed. <laughs> Hurry up and give us the money! Not so fast. Hey, we got company! Who the hell are you? I would be Infinity Girl, and you two are about to be knocked out. Get her! Force field. I'm all out! Me too! Telekinesis. Uh, uh, oh. Hey, put us down! Okay, whatever you say. Good, you're back. We need you to babysit. Oh no, I can't. Yes? You need bonding time with your new baby sister. Looks like it's just you and me, Safina. <laughs> what the? She was just right here. Where did she? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh my gosh, are you okay? How did you even do that? People aren't supposed to get their powers until they're 18. Are you sure she did that? Yes, and she'll probably do it again. Just give her a second. Well, she's asleep right now, but I'll wake her up and- Oh no, you don't. I think you need some rest. Why don't you hand your baby sister over to me? Where are you off to? To a fire on Hero Drive. Some people might be trapped in a building. Oh, do you want us to come with you? Nah, guys, I think I'm good. My freeze breath should have that fire out in no time. Teleportation. <laughs> Look who's back. Are you okay? Yeah, I was able to save everyone, but I got a little burned in the process. Oh, honey, let me see it. Ow, mom, what are you- Hey, Sarah, long time no see. <laughs> Cute baby sister you got here. You put her down right now. No, I don't think I will. What did you do to me? You'll see soon enough. Mom, Dad, stop him. He's gonna take Safina. Your family is under my control. Go to sleep, Safina. Here's the teleportation device. Dad! Thanks, Mr. Steelman. Of course. Super strength. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bye, Sarah. No! We have to find her. There's no telling what he'll do to her. We will. Sarah, are your powers working? Shapeshifting. <laughs> nope. Whatever weapon he hit me with must have taken my powers. We're going to get your powers back, but first we have to find Safina. You're right, let's go. No way. You can't come without powers. But guys, I can still fight. No, not as well as your mom and I, and I am not letting anything happen to you too. They're gonna need my help, I just know it. <laughs> Safina? Hello. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey... Will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. 
How many did you get? <gasps> 5,000. Wow, baby. This year, I'll be able to talk to you a lot, Daddy. Actually, honey, I have to go on a business trip, but we can talk when I get back, okay? Mommy, it's been two weeks. Haven't you heard from Daddy yet? No, honey, I, I think something might have happened to your father. Mommy? Your mom needs surgery, but she doesn't have enough words to pay for it. I can pay with mine. Are you sure it's gonna cost a lot of words? So, is my mommy all better now? Sweetheart, we tried all we could. Your mom didn't make it. We tracked down one of your relatives. This is your Aunt Hilda. Hello. She has a lot of words she can give to you. She'll need to earn them. Did you finish all of your chores today? Good, here you go. Only three. You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no. This looks like a letter from my... Give up my voice until I meet my soulmate or give up my sight? Those are horrible options. Pick voice. But if I don't have my voice, then how- Shh. You'll be fine. Do you really want to be blind? Well, no. Then make your choice. The time is running out. Is her voice gone? Try and talk. No way. She can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, it's not polite to laugh. <laughs> Girls, don't forget we're throwing that ball tonight. Mother, please tell me she's not invited to the ball. Yeah, she'll ruin all the fun. Don't worry, girls. She's not invited. She'll be locked in her room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being alone tonight. Hello, gorgeous. I heard you need true love's kiss to be able to speak again. So what do you say we give it a try? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you get back to the party and leave the princess alone? Right, uh, of course, your highness. You gotta watch out for those type of guys. It must be awful not being able to speak. Excuse me? What are you doing here? What's the matter? The princess is ill. Excuse us. How dare you? I don't ever want you getting your voice back. Mother, what if that prince was her soulmate? Well, he's going to have to die. Randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandparents already do this one all the time, so... Jump scare! <laughs> Ow, Lucy, why would you do that? I don't know, and my options were better than yours. What the? <laughs> what have you done to me? You should really be more careful what option you pick. <laughs> Sex to be you. That's it, come here. Mom! I can't make it to your party. I have to go to Liz's instead. Oh, yeah, totally. We can just plan something another time. Thanks for understanding, girly. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. What am I doing? Keep backing it up. Yeah, keep going. That's my car you're towing. Well, you're getting a big ticket for parking here. A ticket? Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. What the? Miss, are you intoxicated? I need to see this. Don't get mad. Just the play date. recorded me without me knowing? Look, I was just trying to get you some more money. Do you know what's gonna happen when my parents see this video? Are you gonna get mad you're wearing that dress? Come on, you're 18. And that video's viral, so you're gonna be rich. Tommy? Yeah? Delete it. Uh, I kinda got logged out of my TikTok account. You what? <laughs> Her video is getting so many views. You little creep, Tommy. Ow! That's for following us. <clears throat> oh, jeez. And that's for recording me without permission. I was just trying to help. Casey, where are my other clothes? I don't know, they were right here. Hey, looking for these? Hey! See ya! How much money you got now? 2,000. Wow, I guess your video's really going viral. Girl, calm down. Well, you know, I don't like attention like this. Can you please just buy me this dress and I just want to go home. I actually have to go. What? You'll be fine, you're rich now. Casey, please, you can't just leave me like this. Sorry! Casey! Bye! You're going to wear the dress out? It's going to be $122. Where are you going? To the bus, and I would appreciate it if you would stop following me. You're cute. Hey, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Casey left me with no way home, and this creepy guy was following me, so I couldn't get the bus home, and- I deleted the video. You did? Yeah, it's doing more harm than good. Uh, your friend just posted something. Mate. Oh no, he didn't. I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. 
Oh, he is so dead. Honey, mom, oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate- Shh, enough chit-chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom- Uh-uh, get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna- May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but- There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to- Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and- Ryan Tamer. Happy birthday, we got you something. I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 Hello, pencils. pencils. Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what, what No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I just a baby. Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say okay, mom. I just a baby. I think today I'm going to go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire. Hey, I promise I won't be mad, okay? I cheated. 
I wouldn't even consider it cheating, to be honest. It was nothing. <sighs> Are you serious? Girls come up to me all the time asking, do you want to hang out? Like, what am I supposed to say? Like, so have you, like, cheated on other girls, too? Cheating, cheating's a strong word. Derek, it's a yes or no answer, come on. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm being interrogated right now? Okay, yeah, that was in the past. I want to focus on us. I want to focus on you. <sighs> oh gosh, would you look at that. My mom needs me to come home. Oh, and we were having so much fun. Don't worry, I'll see you tomorrow at school, okay? It's time to get revenge on the school player. I only need one more kiss to beat the Evil Queen's score. How do you know that? Because, my daughter, I'm magic. That's how I came back to life. Now let me give you a kiss. I... I don't know if I believe you. How about I give you a little demonstration? You see, dear? Magic. It's really me, your mom. I've missed you so much. Once I give you this magical kiss, we'll be together forever. <laughs> mom, I don't feel very good. Well, that's because... You've been tricked. <laughs> Stepmother? Hello, Sydney. I've just given you the kiss of death. You'll be dead in a few minutes. <laughs> oh, princess, I found a prince who was looking for... <laughs> you. No, Sydney. The queen must have done this to her. Daniel, I... I love... No, hey, stay with me. Sydney. Sydney! No, oh, please. Please, no, Sydney, wake up. I'm so sorry, dear. This wasn't supposed to happen. Remember you? You still owe me that kiss. Wait, true love's kiss? She's waking up. Look at her score. Ow! You two must be soulmates. I knew it. The evil queen has gone too far this time. You have to take back your kingdom. You're right. She's finally... <laughs> Not so fast. What? Surprise. You're probably wishing you would have tried to kill me too now. Why, you, Sydney, get away from him. You don't make the rules anymore, stepmother. I do. And you're hereby dethroned. <laughs> you wouldn't dare hurt me with that sword. Try me and see what happens. <gasps> Guards? No, you fools. Get off of me. Finally, we have a good queen. Yeah! The lost princess. What? <laughs> yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I am not. I'm being serious. Save it. My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Let go of me. I'm going home. You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Ridiculous, I know. I hope you learned your- This is the royal gods. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But- Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Please take it. This is my last heart, and if it breaks, something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her! Run. But what about- Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know, because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, Mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, Your Highness. You can play all the games you want, Princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not gonna find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, Princess. I'm sorry. Do you think I could use your house really quick to charge my phone? Yeah, sure. Wait, is that a blue mark? Sorry, can't help you. Please, I couldn't afford to pay my electricity bill this month, and all the public charging stations are for rich people. I miss the part where that's my problem. Get out of here. Hey, isn't that the girl whose parents, like, died at sea? Yeah. Yikes. They're not dead, they're gonna come back. Oh, really? Yeah, and when they do, they're gonna bring back the lost pirate's treasure. <laughs> my mark is gonna change. We'll be sure to call me when your zombie parents come back from the dead. <laughs> hey, don't listen to them. You're gonna be okay. It's easy for you to say that. Your whole family has yellow marks. Look, just because we're rich doesn't mean we're... Mail delivery. Kayla, what's that? It's a card, and it's signed by my parents saying that they want me to meet them at the Golden Ball. Sounds like a trap. No, I know my parents' handwriting. Only yellow marks can get into the ball. Well, then I'll just have to change my mark. Wait, what? You are so lucky I have yellow paint. So, uh, yeah, we just gotta trust the process on this. 
dude, hurry up. I hear cops. I'm going as fast as I can. Well, then I'll just have to change my mark. Wait, what? You are so lucky I have yellow paint. So, uh, yeah, we just gotta trust the process on this. Dude, hurry up. I hear cops. I'm going as fast as I can. Hey, you two, let's see your marks. Huh, have you guys seen any blue marks? No, sir. No. Good, because they're not allowed around this side of town, so if you see any, let us know. Will do, yes. Let's go. That was close. What did your parents' letter say again? It said for me to meet them at the Golden Ball and to wait for a signal. Kayla, this really sounds like a trap. And you can't wear that to the ball. Look, you gotta dress like a yellow mark. You gotta wear a fancy dress. Well, I might have this mark, but I don't have money. But I do. Come on, we're going shopping. Come on, Kayla, you're about to have your Cinderella dress moment. Hey, you. Let me see your mark. Come here, let me see it closer. Uh, officer, is everything okay? Hey, you. Let me see your mark. Come here, let me see it closer. Uh, officer, is everything okay? There's been a lot of people faking their marks, and hers looks- You gotta be kidding me. Come on, let's go. So what do you think? Whoa, I, I love it. Green really suits you. If this thing is called the Golden Ball, then why am I dressed like a flower? <laughs> because this year's theme is spring. Wow, this place is really fancy, huh? Man, I am starving right now. Same. Dang, look at all the desserts. You see the cupcakes? Well, what are we waiting for? Come on! Oh, these desserts are so good. Hey, aren't those your favorite flowers? Tulips, right? This is the sign. Wait, like from your parents? Is that a note? Kayla, this is- Freeze! Both of you are coming with us. Hey, aren't those your favorite flowers? Tulips, right? This is the sign. Wait, like from your parents? Is that a note? Kayla, this is- Freeze! Both of you are coming with us. Get off of me! Kayla! Well, look who we have here. <sighs> Mom? Mrs. Stewart? Mom, what is going on? I'm getting us the treasure, honey. They're gonna bring back the lost pirate's treasure. <laughs> My parents found the treasure. And they're alive. Why, look, you changed your mark, didn't you? That's against the law. Now let's see that note. You give that back! Now what does this say, Delilah? Do you know what that means? No. She's definitely lying. Give her the truth serum. Jake? Mom, stop it. What does Delilah mean? It was the name of my old treehouse that my parents made for me in the woods. Interesting. And do you know where it is? Yes. Perfect. Okay, let her go. Kayla, you're going to be taking us all to the treehouse. Now let's go. It's up there. The treasure has to be in that treehouse. Jake, climb up there and look for the treasure. No. You won't see Kayla again until you do. Take her away. Jake! Kayla! You won't see Kayla again until you climb up into that treehouse and get me that treasure. Take her away! No, Jake! Let's go. Kayla! Let me see that mark of yours. Why did you take a picture? So I could show the cops how you faked your mark when I turn you in. Let's get this yellow paint off. There. Now you're back to being poor. <laughs> Alright, sit down. Don't move from that spot unless I say so. Why are you helping Mrs. Stewart? I have my reasons. Just mind your own business. She's promising you a lot of the pirate's treasure, isn't she? Maybe she is. What's it to you? I could get you a lot more gold than what she's promising. How? Because I lied about the note from my parents. Delilah wasn't the name of my treehouse. What? Now what does this say, Delilah? Do you know what that means? It was the name of my old treehouse that my parents made for me in the woods. Who names a treehouse? Come on! Delilah is the name of my car. Really? Mm-hmm. And if you take me to it right now, I'll give you half of whatever treasures we find in there. What if your parents try and ambush us? I'm their daughter. They're not gonna ambush us if I'm there. I don't know. We are running out of time before they figure out that there is no treasure in that treehouse. Do we have a deal or not? Alright, alright. You got yourself a deal, kid. <coughs> That's my car. I see something shiny in there. Huh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. This is the Golden Bass. It's worth like five million. So I'll be taking it. We had a deal. You know what they say. Deals change. Oh. Ugh. And where do you think you're going? You found it. Let me see it. Give it to me, you little brat, or I'll- oh. <sighs> Honey? Mom? Dad? Hello. We, we missed, missed you. you. You got our note. We promised you we'd find that treasure. I just knew you guys would come back. Kayla! Jake! Uh, are you okay? Oh my gosh, your parents! Whoa, is that the treasure? So, I just wanted to congratulate you on getting your mark changed, for real, this time. <laughs> Thanks. 
Also, I know you're like a rich girl now, and my mom's in jail, and I just don't want things to be awkward between us because I know we're friends, Jake, but- Jake, stop talking. Share the same hair or share the same clothes as my soulmate. I didn't spend two years growing this hair out for it to get ruined. We'll share clothes. Let's hope this prince soulmate of mine has some style. Soulmate's clothes on. A prince would never wear this? Is my soulmate some sort of a lumberjack? Or worse, what if he's a peasant? What are you wearing? I hate to inform you of this, mother, but these are my soulmate's clothes. Is your soulmate a peasant? Possibly. Absolutely not. You are forbidden to meet this boy. Yes, mother. I need to go out. I can't be seen in this. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove his outfit. Great. Mother said never to go anywhere without my crown, but today, I can't let anyone know I'm a princess. I really hope I don't get recognized. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I swear. I didn't mean to- You have the same outfit as- Me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. Suspect on the loose. White male, black jacket, sunglasses. Highly dangerous. This? Please be careful, it's not safe here. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let go! Get in my car. I'm just Ken, and you wear a real style be a 10. <coughs> Mommy, what's that? It's like charades, honey. You just have to act out your word very quickly, and I have to guess. Okay, you ready? <coughs> oh, a, a dog. <sighs> Understand how to play? Yeah. I got a word now. What am I riding? Um... A bike? No, not a bike. You use your feet. A motorcycle? No, honey, please hurry or something bad is gonna happen to mommy. I don't know, I don't I know. bought this for you for your birthday. Um, a scooter? Yes. Oh, I'm safe. I don't like this game. A camera? No, and the time's up. No, I'm so sorry. I couldn't guess it in time. Sissy, I got a word. Rar. Okay, um, a lion? No. A tiger? A bear? No, no, not that. Come on, Susie, you only have 10 seconds left. Rar. A cheetah? A leopard? Just tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Yay, you got it right. I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Officer? Hello, ma'am. We're looking for a girl named Susie. We believe your daughter cheated. Tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! <laughs> Susie, did you cheat? No, my sister guessed the right answer. Uh-huh. Well, the report could have been a glitch. Remember, cheating has consequences. We know. 
Have a nice day. What was that about? Look, Mom, let's just say that Susie is not good at this game. We need to sign her up for acting classes or something. Honey, don't tell me you actually cheated. I wasn't gonna let her die. Huh? Let who die? No one. Nothing, Susie. We're just talking, sweetheart. You are lucky you got off the hook this time. Mom? No, this is ridiculous. Mom, I have a word. Okay, go ahead. You're holding your breath. You're swimming. You're... you're a shark? No. Uh... The Water Olympics? No, Mom, come on. Let me guess, let me guess. Um, um, scuba diver. Yes. <sighs> that was a close one. Uh-oh, I got a word. Come on, Susie, you got this. Ooh, I learned about this in school. Okay, honey, act it out. It looks like she's swimming. Um, a duck? No, not that. A swan? Nope. Grrr. Um, what is it? I don't know. Okay, Mom, I don't know. Just help her. Splash. We have to cheat again. No, don't. Mom. Susie, what is your word? My word is... Susie? She's alive. That was scary. I really thought we lost her. This doesn't make any sense. Every time someone gets a word wrong, an armed drone comes down and shoots them. I know, honey, but the drone missed. No, but the drones never miss. The creator of the game programmed them to have perfect accuracy. There's something you need to know. Your father is the creator of this game. What? It's the reason I divorced him. You mean to tell me that our father is the reason for this game existing? Yes. I'm going to Act It Out headquarters, and I'm getting Dad to shut down this game. No, it's too dangerous. He didn't kill Susie, which means he still cares about us. I have to try. Hey, you're not allowed to be in yet. My father is Darren White, the creator of this game, and I want to speak to him. Oh, really? You got some ID on you? Oh. Now let me see my father. I see your mom finally told you about me. You've got a lot of explaining to do. You got a word, didn't you? Don't worry, I'll guess it for you. Act it out. No. What? Me and everyone else are done playing this game. Sweetheart, you're gonna run out of time. End the game. Just act it out, I can't. No, if you really love me, you're gonna end it right now. I've put too much work into this game to stop it now. Then I guess you're only gonna have one daughter. No, honey. Oh my god, what have I done? Dad. Shut the game down. But sir, I said shut it down. <laughs> the game is offline. Good, I gotta get her to a hospital. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I can't believe this happened. I did it for all of us. So daddy's gone? Yeah, the doctor said once he found out she was okay, he took off. All that matters is that this horrible game is over. Yeah. Sissy needs to rest now. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Thanks, mom. Hey, Mr. Toad, sorry I'm late. Better be the last time, Red. Hey, Goldilocks. Hey. Psst, Jill, where's Jack? Who? Oh, Jack and the Beanstalk? No, your brother Jack. Yeah, like Jack and Jill went up the hill? Huh? That's not my story. You don't remember your own brother? Goldie, Red, no talking. That was weird, even for Jill. Right? How does she not remember her own brother? Hey, Humpty Dumpty, have you seen Jack? Jack and the Beanstalk? No, like Jack and Jill. He's your best friend. Huh? I'm not friends with anyone named Jack. That's really weird how no one else remembers Jack. Hey, is that Bo Peep? I've never seen her without her sheep. Hey, Bo Peep, where are your sheep? <laughs> sheep? You guys are silly. I don't have any sheep. I'm starting to think it's not just Jack who went missing. Mr. Toad's storybook characters are missing, and no one seems to remember them but us. Like who? Like Bo Peep and Jack. And Hansel doesn't even remember his sister Gretel. Who's Gretel? It's no use, Goldilocks. We're the only ones that remember. Meet me at the Storybrook Library. We need to investigate. Goldie, look at this. Just as I thought, someone's blacking out the Storybook characters. And they're completely disappearing from their stories. This has one person written all over it. Cruella. Cruella, we know you're here. Well, well, it looks like we have visitors. <sighs> Down boy, can I get you two anything? How about a nice warm fur coat? I'm vegan. Even after the wolf incident? All right. Well, then what do you two want? To know why you're making storybook characters disappear. <laughs> it's not funny. You're erasing their stories. I would never. How dare you accuse me of such a thing? And you're not supposed to take books from the library. Get the hell out of here. Do you believe her? No, not for a second. Maybe your granny can help us get the book back. I don't have a grandma. No, Red, not you two. Come with me, we're fixing this right now. You two are back. Yes, we brought you some porridge to apologize to. I made sure the bears made it just right. Mm. Are those ink stains on your fingers? 
All right, you caught me, but there's nothing you can do. Soon, darlings, only the villain characters will remain. <laughs> you underestimated the girls who fought wild animals and won. What? What was in this porridge? There, all the ink has been erased. Red? Granny! Oh, Red, is it really you? Hey, look, it's Jack! And little Bo Peep and her sheep! All the storybook characters are reappearing. We did it! I think we should take this book to the Blue Fairy so she can put a protection spell on it so this will never happen again. Good idea. There are creatures that come out at night here. Creatures? What do you mean by creatures? It's hard to describe them. They're like nothing you've ever seen before. No, this is insanity! Nikki, come on, we're leaving. No, no. Nobody's going anywhere. It's not safe out there. Let us see for ourselves. Shh! I'm telling you, they're out there. If you tell us to shush one more time, I swear I'm gonna- Found us. What do we do? They're attracted to darkness. If we make this place bright enough, maybe they'll stay away. How do you know that? Nessa, come on, let's just do what he says. Okay. Okay, I think that's all the lights in the house. Where did the guy go? I don't know, he was right there. Well, wait, what is this? Who's that a picture of? Some girl, look. I have a surprise for you, sweet pea. A key? Yes, it's the key to unlocking your soulmate. Is my soulmate gonna have some sort of a lock or something? Mm-hmm, you have to find the boy that has a lock that matches your key. But that could take forever. If you find the right boy, the lock above your head will glow green. Did you get your soulmate key? Yeah, mine is like super tiny, look. Your crush Jake has a small lock. I don't know, do you think I should? Girly, yes, go talk to him. Hey Jake, I noticed that you have a small lock, and I also have a small key, so I was wondering if maybe... Jakey, oh my gosh, my key opened your lock. We're soulmates. No way! I am so sorry that happened to you, come here. But girly, I have some good news. There's a prince coming to our school. Wait, there is? Why? Apparently, he thinks his soulmate goes here. Does any girl here have a tiny key? Your Highness, I have a tiny key. It's right... Here? I have one, Your Highness. She stole that from me! Did not! Get adopted by a fireman or a billionaire? I think we should go with fireman, because he's gonna keep us safe. Yeah, I think so too. Nope! Billionaire! Hi, girls! Hi! So, what are your names? I'm Margo. I'm Edith. And this is Agnes. Nice to meet you. Well, this is my home. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. This place is kind of creepy. It is. <sighs> There's nothing to watch. Did you hear that? I did. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, I think it's coming from over there. <sighs> there was definitely someone down there. I told you, Agnes, we should have picked the fireman. Excuse me, I need to speak with you. Me? Yes, you. I have a secret that you need to know. So, what's your secret? I have a secret lab, and I know you girls saw it. No, we didn't. Don't lie to me. I have cameras everywhere. I saw you. Creepy much? Okay, maybe we did. Well, I can't have you telling anyone about the lab. Uh-huh. Sounds like I should be calling CPS. No, I need you girls to help me with my plan. And what plan is that exactly? Go get your sisters and follow me. Whoa, what is that? Is that a laser? No. Who are you? I'm the doctor you saw in the lab. Well, what is this thing? My greatest achievement, a shrink ray. And we need human subjects to test it on. The doctor and I created this together. Wait a minute, so you're telling us that the only reason you adopted us was so you could use us as your lab rats? Not cool, dude. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that. Actually, we weren't asking. Run! Wait! Wait! We don't want to try out your machine! Yeah! It's okay, girls. You don't have to try it if you don't want to. We don't? No. But sir, we only adopted them because- That's enough, doctor. We're not forcing them to do anything. Thanks for taking us to get food, sir. Girls, please. You don't have to call me sir. Can we call you dad? Agnes? I was just asking. You can call me whatever you like. I feel like Darren likes us. I like him too. But that doctor, she creeps me out. Yeah, same. Good night, girls. Good, Good night, night, Dad. Dad? Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I need you to come with me. It's time for you to try out the machine. Mm. Shh.
Would you stop knocking on the glass? You're not getting out of there. Now watch this. I'm going to demonstrate the shrink ray. Isn't that amazing? Now, to test it on you. Margo! Let her go! No, guys, run! Come here, girls. Stop! Doctor, what is going on? Dad, help us! Oh, be quiet. He's not even your real dad. Hey, that's enough. Let's see how you like it. Close your eyes, girls. No! What do you know? It works. Gary, you can't do this! <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for saving us. Of course. And I destroyed the machine. What? what? But I thought you said it was your greatest achievement. Actually, no, girls. My greatest achievement was adopting you. <laughs> see how much Mommy and Daddy love me? Or see how much are in their bank account? I already know Mommy and Daddy love me, so let's see how much money they have. <gasps> wow, they have a billion dollars? I must be getting a lot of Christmas presents this year. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Thank you! What else did you get me? That's it, Pumpkin. We didn't get you anything else. Mommy and Daddy are very poor. But I see that you have a lot of money. Uh, there must have been a mistake. Don't sound spoiled. Be grateful. So, guys, any chance I'm gonna get a phone for my birthday? <laughs> oh, poor thing. No, you're too young. Yeah, I figured you were gonna say that. But when do you think I will be old enough to have a phone? You'll get next one next year. Next year, you literally say that every year. No, we don't. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like... me. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like... me. If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. That can't be me. I'm just being delusional. We should give her back now. The reward is one million dollars. But how do we get the reward money for her without them knowing we took her in the first place? Shh, let's talk about it over here. The number on the TV. They said to call it if... If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. I need a phone. I'll have to take mom and dad's. No, I just gotta call this number. No, I just gotta call this number. Oh, what the hell was that? <gasps> you want to tell us why you were in our room? And why my phone is cracked? I, um, I didn't think you guys saw me. I was just, um... What is this? <sighs> she knows we're not her parents. She was trying to call the number on the news, huh? Well, you know what? It's about time she found out. Surprised it took her this long. I mean, how could she never question how we all have different hair and eyes and why we never let her on social media? I mean, come on. You two are sick, and I'm leaving. No, you're not. Now turn. We gotta make you look pretty for your billionaire mommy and daddy. They'll be so happy. And the final touch, a little bow. Aw, oh, babe, isn't she so cute? Your birth parents are offering a big reward for you, so you better not mess this up. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Richard, what in heavens did you order? This box is not from... Me. What is going on? Read the note. It'll explain everything. Your prayers have been answered. Here is your biological data. We have to send the one million dollar reward to this number or you die? Yes, so please just wire it to them right now and I'm so sorry about all of this. Darling, this doesn't sound right. I think we ought to just call the police. Yes, darling, I agree. No, please, no, police. I, I can prove to you that I'm your real daughter. I know how much is in your bank accounts. It's two billion, exactly. How do you know that? Because I picked to see how much money were in my parents' bank account. It says if we don't send it, she will die. What if she is our daughter? Can you please just send them the money? No, I have to call the police. I'm not sending anyone money. I have to call the police. Wait. No. We have to get her to a hospital. Doctor, is she going to be okay? Ma'am, we can't have you in here. Mr. and Mrs. Connors, we have some good news. She's going to be okay, and we did the blood test as you requested, and it does look like she is your biological daughter. Richard, did you hear that? I can't believe it. Hi, darling, don't worry. Everything is all right. Those horrible people have been put in prison. What's going to happen to me now? We're going to take care of you, love. You are? Yes, we, um, we found out you're actually our daughter. I knew it. We never stopped looking for you. Your father and I missed you so much. We love you. Hey, what's the matter? 
No one's ever told me that before. Well, we'll be telling you that every day, love. Now you get some rest, and we'll be here when you wake up. Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the- Achoo! No! At least it's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised. I know, I'm so sorry. <sighs> come on, girl, you're like the mutual friend. If you don't come, then no one else is gonna want to come. Look, my parents said no. She doesn't want to come to your party because she doesn't like you. You sure that's the reason? Yes, I wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. She's lying. Your mom just grounded her. Mom just grounded you? How did you know that? You weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. Ugh, whatever. Does this hair clip tell me the truth about people? Hey babe, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry babe, I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. Learn a fact about every item you touch, or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. Hey, Mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please, just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> you know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah, do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks, I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like... salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? 
I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. Uh, we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go. But... I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... Don't take too long to come back, okay? How could you not tell me my father was alive? He writes to you every year, you know. And I always throw his letters in the fire, but this year I got a little sloppy and put it in the trash. Why would you steal words from him? He's your own brother. He had millions of words and would never share with me, and neither would your mother, which is why I had to get rid of her. What? Your mother's surgery didn't go well for a reason. Look, I needed you to become an orphan. Why? So legally, I could control your words. You are sick, but I have a lot of words, and I'm going to send them to my father. <laughs> Go ahead. He needs at least 3,000 to come home. Well, that's perfect, because I have just enough. What? Well, then I can't have you doing that. Thanks to your big mouth, you'll be staying in this attic until further notice. Dad? It's me, honey. I got your words. I missed you so much, Ella. Your Aunt Hilda has been arrested. But are you okay? I am now. I think I just had a memory of me being a princess. Sorry, I know that sounds crazy. A princess? Wait, did something happen to your memories? Yeah, actually, when I was younger, some sort of accident happened to me. I don't remember what, but the doctor told me that I have amnesia. Some people still think the princess is still alive. They do? Yeah, and actually, I'm one of those people. You know, I could take you to the queen if you really think you're the princess. No, that's okay. Uh, I really should be going. At least take my number. If any more of your memories come back, call me. I can't believe that guy thought that I was a princess. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsed! No! no, no. Grandma? She left me. Uh, my head... Hey, I got your voicemail. You got another memory? I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. You can choose between a pen or a teddy bear. I think I'm gonna choose the pen, because I heard that it- No! Pick the teddy bear. That pen is dangerous, and you're not allowed to have it. Do you understand? Of course, stepmother. She never lets me do anything I want. I'm not wasting this opportunity. Legend says that whatever you draw with this pen will come to life. I can draw a teddy bear, so when stepmother comes back, she won't get suspicious. I can't believe it worked! So, did you pick the bear? Mm -hmm. See? Oh yes, I see. Well, that's a good girl. Alright, well, I'll be back to check on you later. Wait, but today's my 18th birthday, and you promised that I could leave the palace after I turned 18. Did I say that? It's still too dangerous. Maybe next year. I knew she would never let me go outside. But at least now, I can draw myself a little companion. I've always wanted a puppy. Oh, she's perfect. <laughs> Brielle, open this door. Don't you ever block that door? What was that? You hiding something? What's this? No, wait! $100 every time someone lies to me, or $100 every time someone laughs at my joke, I'm not really funny enough for this one to work, so I think I'm gonna go with lying. Love the hair. Aw, thank you. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, sure. So, what's your name? My name is Jack. Whoever you're sitting next to will be your partner for the project. So it looks like you and I are partners, so maybe would you want to come to my place and work on the project, or- Nah, my parents don't allow me to go to a girl's house alone. 
Um, you know, what if we just went to like a Starbucks or something? That could work, right? I'm not allowed to go to Starbucks either. It's probably best you just go to my place. You look nervous. Relax. I'm not gonna do anything. Hi, I'm, um, I'm here to see Jack. We're gonna work on a school project together. Yes, hello. I'm his father. I've been expecting you.